In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you another man beating concept to help you beat man. And it's also a really good concept against zone as well from the Washington Redskins offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level in Madden NFL 21. And one of the things we do on our channel to do that is we surround you with a better community. Um, I have a Discord, and so what Discord is, is it's basically a community uh, of people where we can gather together online and just chat Madden every single day. Our Discord is awesome. We have some really, really good players in there. And so if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, one of the things I want to encourage you to consider doing is to join that Discord because you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And so if you start associating yourself with better Madden players and you start practicing and playing and labbing and uh, experimenting with better Madden players, it's going to make you a better Madden player yourself. And so I just really believe in the Discord. It's helped me so much personally, and I know it will help you as well. So what we're doing today is we're talking about a little man-beating concept, zone-beating concept, out-of-the-gun empty bunch formation. This is one of the better formations in the entire game this year. Uh, five wide is back. And uh, again, empty bunch is one of the better ones so it doesn't just have to be washington's playbook there's a lot of empty bunches in in there but the route that i want to talk to you about today is the trail route it's a very specific route and this specific texas concept of the gun empty bunch to me is one of the better man beaters in the in the game now you still can run z spot um you still can run qb draw um you still can run the trail concept of course you can run divide wheel there's a lot of good plays this year out of Gun Empty Bunch, but I think Trail might be the best one against Man to Man. We're gonna show you why right now. So, basically the only adjustment that, you don't even have to make any adjustments on this play, but most people, what they're liking to do is they're liking to shade, they're liking to drop their purples out just like this right here. So what I like to do with Mercedes Lewis, you can put him on a hitch, you can put him on a drag, put him on pretty much anything you want. But what you're gonna see here is this route, I'm sorry, I forgot to motion out my uh, guy. The route to um, Scantling, Marquez Valdez Scantling's route here, he is going to do a really, really good job of beating man to the inside. What I like to do is I just like to motion snap him out to the outside about two steps. And what you'll see here is he's going to beat man to the inside, and that's going to be a nice little man read for you right off the bat. The next route that we're going to go over is a simple uh, zig route to the tight end. Now this does not always beat man to man. In fact, it probably won't beat man to man because I think Stefan Gilmore is on him. But what you'll see here is that's gonna beat man to the outside most of the time. Now again, when they shade coverage, and we'll show you that in just a moment, but this is really good for shaded back coverage. I also really like hitches this year. Um, on the left side of the screen, you see we have a stock little few yard hitch. Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna low pass this to the inside and you're gonna see Devontae Adams is just going to post up that defender. Now again, it's a quick read. It's a quick five, quick four yards, um, nothing more than that. But with someone like Aaron Rodgers who throws the ball at a lower trajectory and can have pass lead elite where he's able to move the ball, put the ball in different places, I find that this little low ball hitch works really, really well against man-to-man. -man. As you see here, this is cover two man trail. This is not even shaded over top coverage. This is underneath. This is underneath trail coverage. And what you're seeing is this little hitch because it's on the outside, I find that outside hitches this year, because of the way that the game has programmed them to um, kind of shield against man, you're gonna see he's gonna shield against man. It does so good against man to man. I love throwing those hitches, love throwing those hitches this year. So very, very good concept there. So that is one um, additional step in beating man to man. Now, if they start shading coverage over top, this is a, it's only gonna hurt them to do that. So you're gonna see against shaded coverage over top, we're gonna to start to have uh, other things open as well. You see here this um, trail route is gonna be, that's Aaron Jones against Stephon Gilmore. And that trail route's beating man to man on the inside. That is so significant to me. Um, you're gonna have, I mean, pretty much every route on the field beats man. Now, one thing that you can, the corner route um, does not beat man as much. It does beat man, but it doesn't beat man when they have a, a purple zone up there. You see he has a purple zone, and so the purple zone is gonna take, is gonna take the, uh, the ball. But if they're running, um, if they're running just standard cover two man without the purples, what you're going to see is that um, that corner around the left right there is going to get that outside separation against man to man. As you can see, those corner routes are very specific from gun empty bunch. 
a little bit sharper uh, routes that go to the outside here. One of the things you can also do is you can motion Lazard in and you see it's going to create a little bit of a man switch and you can get that ball out there to Lazard. So very simple techniques this year to beat man to man, but this little concept right here, I love it. I love motion in, in this corner route. And you see, it's going to consistently be man to man. It doesn't matter who your corner is out there. Now, what about the zone? What does this play do? What does this play do for me against zone? Well, what I love about this play against zone coverage is I feel like the route concepts still work pretty well against zone coverage. You got this deep post over the middle of the field, and you're going to see that this deep post is going to be pretty much, uh, pretty much most zones. You're either going to hit the trail route or you're going to hit the underneath, um, the underneath. Now, this primarily is why I will tend to put the tight end on a hitch instead of a zig if i think they're running zone even in man as long as they're not running like press man with shade coverage down where they're actually pressing the receivers if i can get lewis unbumpable on a hitch here you're going to see that this route right here is going to hold the yellow zones and you're going to throw right over the top of them stefan gilmore is just a beast in this year's game he's probably the best corner in the game but what you're going to see is you're going to be able to hit one of those two trail routes you're also going to have you're just going to work your route combos to be to be quite 100 percent honest like zone I think is actually harder to beat than man this year now that people are starting to figure out how to play zone but what you'll see is these route combos you see right there Valdez Scantley is getting open uh, against the cover four and he's going to consistently get open against cover four now I like to get him out there I don't like him to be compressed because I, I need to give Aaron Jones enough time to get out of his way so I'll get him out wide here and what you'll see is there I got pressured um, but what you'll see is you'll be able to hit that route against most zones in the game. Now, what you're also going to be able to do, though, is you're going to be able to work your route combinations again. You're going to be able to work these underneath hitches. These underneath hitches do so well against zone because most people are not going to play press zone. And most people are going to play off zone. So you're going to be able to take five, take five, take five, take five over and over again within this uh, concept. You're going to see here, shake cover three sky these simple 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 zones and you see those hitches are going to hold those flats down you're going to be able to hit that over the top on that corner route so perfect little concept here from this uh formation let me show you cover four drop but let me show you with two yellows from the safeties and let me show you what happens on this play so this trail route is one of the most underrated routes in, this, in the game this year. I love trail routes. I think everybody is starting to realize that trail routes are one of the better routes this year because they do different things. They stop against zone. You see how he sits right there against zone? You can lowball that all day long. That is against like 15 people in the middle of the field zone that he's going to do that. Sometimes they go down the field against zone. You know, it, it depends on what kind of defense you're facing. But when you mix this play in as a man read, and then you have a nice zone read as well coming off of this. You see right there, there's that trail route kind of find. Trail route basically finds grass, kind of like an air raid principle. But I just absolutely love the trail route this year. You see you can actually motion him to the left. And he'll do a little, um, it'll automatically switch him into a zig. But you see there, um, this post route is so effective against man-to-man. -man. Most people have kind of figured it out at this point. But trail, this, this play right here, I'm telling you, if you want to be man you want to beat the zone from an empty set empty bunch these quick hitches will do it for you these quick hitches are so good um pretty much any zone in the game they're going to get underneath it unless they shade their coverage down and if they start shading their coverage down you're going to kill them i mean you're literally you're literally going to kill them if they shade their coverage down because literally what they're going to have to do this is what they're going to have to do they're going to have to shade their coverage down then they're going to have to drop two purples uh over here and they're, they're, they're going to have to run some kind of max coverage, right? They're going to have to do something like this to stop this play, which not even that you can even have time to do the, all those setups. What you're going to see here, watch, this corner is still going to get over that over that purple. So they're going to have to do some stuff with their zone adjustments to get the zones to drop where they need to drop. This play right here, in my opinion, is one of the best plays, especially from five wide, five wide in bunch this year. So give this play a try. Let me know what you thought of this play. Also, guys, if you haven't already and you want to take your Madden game to the next level, what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to join my community Discord. That's where you get your questions answered. Now, you can text me anytime. My cell phone number is always in the top left corner of the screen. If you ever want to text me a Madden question, feel free to do that. My number is 812-216-3644. I love getting texts from you guys. But I also want to encourage you 
if you join the Discord, then it's not just me answering your questions. It's 300 of my closest friends. Our Discord community is starting to become very strong, and I believe that we are better together. So if you want to get better at Madden, if you want to take your game to the next level, the Discord is the best possible way to do it because you're going to be surrounded by a community of people that may some may be better than you. You may be some better than some of them, but we're a team. We're a unit, and we help each other get better. That is the best way to grow and improve in Madden, in my opinion. To have a community of people, to have an army. You know, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a Discord to raise a Madden player. So if you are interested in taking your game to the next level, go into the description right now. Join the Discord. It's 100% free. We'll see you over there. And again, just a reminder, we stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. I post four videos a day on YouTube. So if you really want to get access to all my content, make sure to subscribe. And we will see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Time.